strip this left one, make it pole, use that as an anchor, do the right. So just a, a walk through of what I've done. So I threw my line over, I'm stripping this left stand um, and I came up on my SRT line. So that meant I didn't need to isolate the limb. I went through a really strong foot. As I'm coming up on my spikes, uh, I didn't use my foot senders because I wanted to spike up. Spiked up midway, probably three, two quarters of the way up. Now I've put my second line in, dropped round. I'm going to undo my base tie and I'm going to send up a bit further. Put a uh, kind of tie in and um, so I'm going to come back to the top anyway so there's no bother putting the kind of tie at the top because I'm going to have to come back and get it to sell that bit of a tree anyway so that's how I ascend a tree usually. Going beach mode today.
So something you should be trying to do is constantly thinking what can I break and um, I've got other trees which you know if you break a little limb it's not the end of the world but I've got fences down there so thinking about doing this in two down to that union but then I'm thinking will I get a bad bounce I'll hit that fence so you're constantly thinking right okay I need to land this one flat I might change the angle of where I'm going to fell it rather than going that way a bit more towards that tree there Another benefit of an SRT system is you can have a cinch system. So this is an SRT wrench set up with a running ball line onto itself. This way if you slip off your gaffs you're not going to slide down the tree and you're nice and secure. So having it up high you can descend down on your spikes and side drop and then pull down on that tail. It slides it right down. You want it around your knee height and your side drop around your hip height. Okay. 